day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, hey, I hope you enjoyed part A, part B, and now this is part C. And what we're focusing on, the fact is that we, just like I told you in Isaiah 60 verse 1, that, that, that the glory of the Lord shall rise upon you, rise and shine, for the light has come, right? And the glory of God has risen on us. It, it's risen on us because we want us to be out of the way and let people see Christ Jesus in us. That's what we want to focus on. That's what we want to live by. So we want to, we want to, as we walk this walk, we want to allow ourselves, die to self, and start allowing the image of Christ to be, be manifested in us. So people start saying, what is a Christian all about? Is a Christian all about condemnation, Bible something, and all that spiritual uh, being too deep? Or is it about showing that image of Christ and that mercy, that grace, and the fruits of the Spirit that allows us to show who He is and show the love of God? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. We are supposed to be now the children of God with the image of God. And I like this one scripture here. In Romans 8, take 29 and 30, for whom he did know, for know, he also predestinated to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. You've been called, amen. If you, if you, all you have to do is pick up the phone, amen. If God called you, you pick up that phone. He called because John 3, 16 says he's loved the world so that whosoever believes in him shall not perish the everlasting life. You are that who's loved. That's your choice. You don't have to choose it, but that's a good choice to make, amen. So, enjoy part C and understand 2021, God got our back, amen. I'll check you later and I hope you enjoy the videos. God bless. Bye bye. <laughs> so what I'm trying to get you to think about is, is that it is not so much. This is why discipleship is so important. You see, that once you are born of God, now, now, listen, listen carefully. Now, this is you get a lot of this imagery in Revelation. This is why God don't like idols. Right. Because see, we're, we're created in the image and in the garden, I'm not really sure that we often think about Adam and Eve's sin in relationship to the image that they're created in and how it affected that image. Yes, sir. But in, anyway, if we are created to be in a living union, an interactive, dynamic, life-giving union with God, and you, you get cut off of that, then in essence, the, the void of life causes you to be an image. Yes. Yes. And, I, listen, you're no more than a, a, a living statue. Mm -hmm. a Not living. a spiritual living statue. Yeah. But from where God is concerned here, if life is cut off from a thing, then then that thing is dead. Yeah. Come on. Right. Do you notice in the revelation that that, that that the Antichrist created a created this image and then he caused the image to live? Come on. Yes. <laughs> you see, that is why God forbid that man should create any images of him. Yes. He put no images. Because he said, Look, I don't want y'all to make no image of me because I already got an image in there. It's you. And I intend that image to be living. Woo! Come on now. Come on. I, I, I intend to quicken that image so yes. that it has life. And if you live the way you're supposed to live, you ain't got to build no statue. Come on now. <laughs> you ain't got to put up no 
Molech and, and, and Dagog and something. And that's why he, he, he always been building up things in scripture. Why y'all got those objects that don't breathe, can't talk? You got to pick it up and carry it. Woo. I'm a living God. Come on, now. connected to me, better be living spiritually. <laughs> you got to be living, yeah. So, yeah. So what I'm trying to get done is you see, once the image is touched by God and quickened by God and given life by God, the image is alive. But it, it, listen, it's like the little newborn baby that's been born. He can't walk. He can't feed himself. He can't do nothing. That thing got to be. That thing got to grow up into that. The fundamental thing that is there got to be shaped and developed and decided yes, and fashioned yes, and formed until it is able to do all of the things that we do now when we all a little bitty baby. Yes. Exactly. Couldn't even walk the lady in the crib, but I got a, my grandson in here, here, year old. He's gonna learn how to walk. But you see, spiritually, scripture says that spiritually we're supposed to we're supposed to grow. Yes. We are the we are the desire the sincere milk of the word that we may grow thereby. Come on, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so you see, so so God is God is using life and circumstances and situation to fashion. Yes. To form. To shape you, discipline when you realize that in the spiritual realm, fleshly things contaminate. Yes. Fleshly things defile. Yes. Yes, sir. Fleshly yes. things disqualify you. <coughs> yes. yes, sir. And when we and when we learn, and that, see, that's what he was trying to teach some apostles. And that I keep going back to the verse of Matthew seventeen. Yeah. He's trying to teach some apostles. Look here, man. Look here. But when it comes down to spiritual warfare, there are certain things you need to know. Yes. Now, that, listen, you start dealing with demons, they're special cases. Yes. Come on. That, that's, there's some time when you're going to be confronted with some stuff that require a clear channel through you. Come so on. There's no opposition. There's no hindrance to God. Yes. That God can flow through you unhindered. Yes. Because there's some things that have established stronghold. Yes. They ain't going to just come out because you say, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on.